Welcome to KTA Kitchens. This is Chef Maka Kwan. Today we're going to do a Kona Coffee marinated beef tenloin with a runny cow espresso sauce. You notice I have this beef already marinated in coffee grounds and molasses and charred jalapeno. I'm going to show you how we do this first. We get these jalapenos and we char them on the grill. And it's going to take a while to char them. If you can't char them on a grill, if you don't have a grill, you can do this in the oven. You can do this on the stove. We're going to char it. And after we char this, we're gonna cool it down, we're gonna chop it all up, and we're gonna mix it with some fresh coffee that we ground, or you can buy coffee already ground. Molasses, a lot of salt and pepper, and we're gonna rub it all over the steak. And what I did is I rubbed all over the steak, and then I put it in a Ziploc bag overnight. But before I even start cooking this, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of this coffee ground on here. There's a lot of it. So we're gonna scrape a little bit of it off, and then we're gonna go ahead and season it and we're gonna go ahead and grill it. And it's gonna take a good half an hour to grill because it's a really thick portion of steak. If you don't want, you can cut it into smaller portions and grill them up yourself on a stove, in the oven. But we're gonna, we're gonna put it on a grill because it's better, okay? And you wanna grab a lot of salt and pepper. Our grill is really hot. If you, if you can't tell how hot your grill is, if you put your hand over for about five seconds, and, you, and it's really hot, it's that's medium high. If you put your hand about five inches above and you can keep it for like 10 seconds, it's about a medium. And that's what we want about a medium. We don't want it too high because we don't want to burn our steak. And we're just going to let it grill. We'll be right back to flip it. But every five, maybe 10 minutes, we're going to flip it. We're going to check it. And if it's too hot, it might burn. So we'll have to flip it sooner. And we put it on a different part of the grill. Okay? So let's dome it for now. While this is cooking, we're gonna go back inside the house and we're gonna make our running espresso sauce, which is really simple. Our beef is cooking. We got a nice hot pan. We got a little oil, canola oil, kinda of hot. We're just gonna saute a little bit of shallots. Okay. We just wanna get aromatics out of the shallots, cook it down a little bit. And we have all these other ingredients. We have some red wine, some espresso, some honey, some Dijon mustard, some chili pepper, salt pepper, of course. And um, we're gonna finish the sauce here. I have some, I don't know if you guys can see this here, but I have some beef stock in the back or some uh, veal stock. Um, if you can't get this, use regular beef stock. Um, they have all the stores or beef bouillon. Okay, now we have it reduced down where I'd like it to be. Let's add our coffee. And coffee, you know, is a, a little tangy. A little slight bitterness, nuttiness. We add our veal stock. Now we're gonna let this go. Let it simmer for a while. And I know we need a little bit of heat. It's a little bit of chili pepper. So when it comes up to a boil, we're gonna turn it to simmer. And then we're gonna add a little bit of butter at the end and we'll go back and taste it with salt and pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. It's a little tangy. I think there's a little bit of honey. I can taste a lot of heat from the chili pepper and a little bit of mustard. Maybe not too much, just a little bit. I don't want it too sweet. And yet, I don't want it too spicy. this in here real quick. Now if you want to leave all those chunks of shallots and chili pepper, that's, that's all right if you want to do it. If you want to strain it out, you can just go ahead and strain it out. I'm going to leave it. So this is pretty much done. I can reduce it down a little bit more, maybe a little more thicker. I'm going to let this sit hang out for a while. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to go outside and finish our steak. Welcome back. Look at our steak. It's been on the grill for about 20 minutes. Kept it rolling over. In the meantime, we showed you how to make our sauce. Good pairing, a nice red wine. But I let, this, I let the steak rest for about 10 minutes, maybe 15. Let it rest. Do not cut open it until you're ready. We're ready to cut it. Right. A little bit of sauce in our steak. Give it a nice taste. That's good. That's Ono. If you want this recipe, 
Go to ktastesuperstores.com slash recipes. Thank you. This is Marco Kwan saying see you later.